You are now watching Sammy D305. Hey, what's up everybody? Um, just wanted to make a video talking about the ending of Batman Arkham Knight and the upcoming release of the animated uh, The Killing Joke. Um, first, I'm going to start off talking about Arkham Knight and the ending. Now, the ending of Arkham Knight, did it feel a little blase? Yeah, it did. I feel like they actually could have done more. Even if you unlock every Riddler trophy and do the, what was it, the, the, the night pro Nightfall Protocol or whatever it was, you still get an extra ending, but the extra ending leaves. It's an ambiguous ending. You can guess that it's Batman or somebody else is taking up the mantle of the Batman to continue fighting against evil, you know, using new tactics or whatever. That's one way you can look at it, or you can just look at it as, and maybe they'll come out with something different down the road. This is the last, supposedly the last Batman Arkham game, but that still doesn't mean that, from Rocksteady at least, but that still doesn't mean WB Games won't eventually release another Batman game, or at least some different kind of form. If anything, I'm taking a bet that if Rock City does do anything that is actually related to it close enough to me personally, I think they'll probably end up coming out with maybe like a Justice League game. They drop a lot of hints of uh, other heroes and cities and stuff like that in, this, in Arkham, uh, Arkham Knight, so it's a possibility that they can actually come out with a Justice League game, which would actually probably be pretty good, but time will tell who knows. That's just my opinion on that. And as far as the new upcoming uh, Killing Joke WB animation release, that's the straight to video release, they did get cleared to actually make it R rated, but they did also say that just because they've been cleared to make it R rated, doesn't mean they're actually going to make it a hard R rated uh, animated film. I feel like if it adds to it, do it. If it doesn't, if you can still tell a story that matches up pretty good to the original uh, graphic novel release and still get your uh, point across with a little bit extra, do it. Either way, if you can make it better by doing it, doing it. But if it takes away too much from the story, then you just leave it to the wayside. Because I think they can still pull it off without an R rating. R rating would be actually be good, but most of these WB animated movies that come out that are rated what PG-13, they're pretty gruesome, and they still get a good story and even show like good graphic action, still being rated PG-13 because it's animated. So I think they could still pull it off either way. I'm looking forward to that to see how they actually do the interpretation of the uh, killing joke. So we'll see. So those were my thoughts, people, and uh, felt like talking about that real quick with that Arkham Knight ending. That was it was I could have been way better, but just leaves the door open to use the character for different things, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, that's it, and uh, talk to you all next time.